Hello and welcome back to another video. I just wanted to give you another quick hobby update to show you where I'm at with a few projects and give an idea of where I'm probably going to be heading next. Uh, I have since my last video moved around my office somewhat, so although it might look very similar to you guys, um, the whole layout of the room has changed somewhat. Um, so hopefully the lighting and things are at least similar, if not maybe a little better if I am lucky. Um, so the first thing I have been working on has been my Tyranids. Um, as I talked about in my last video, I'm in the process of undertaking a league. So I wanted to get these up to a standard where I would get some painting points. Because um, currently I am 0 for 1 on wins and losses uh, after my first game. And I got no painting points. So let's try and at least get a point on the board, even if it's not through winning a game. Uh, so I wouldn't call these finished myself. Um, I've got a little bit more that I want to do on these, uh, but they are now entirely base coated, primed. Uh, some of them have got, I'm going to hit me in focus. Um, some of them have got some highlights on the carapace, uh, but that's basically the next big project. But I've, I've now varnished all of these and they are at a point where they are certainly playable and hopefully getting them back on the table and I'll have some motivation to keep painting and um, and get these guys finished. Uh, just by way of a comparison, just to show you what I mean in terms of the carapace. So I've got my old uh, Malaceptor here. Um, so basically I've got right up to the point where I just need to start highlighting the, um, the carapace with the kind of lighter green colours. They're not too far off done, and in rea all reality, I could probably sit down over the course of an afternoon and do most of these models during that time. But I wanted to make sure that I did that on my own terms, um, and I didn't want to rush through that and get stressed by having other unpainted models. Uh, additionally, we've got the Broodlord, or the Patriarch, depending on which model range you use. Um, Broodlord and five Gene Stealers to accompany him. Um, I found out in my first game, they're, they're a good unit, but I probably want to run 10 of them. And so far, my MVPs for my Tyranid army, let's see if I can get them in focus, are my Ripper Swarms. So uh, they got me eight points on secondaries from my last game for investigating sites in corners of the board. Oh, I must get signals coming, which one it is now. Um, yeah, so they, they've been great and um, nice little additions and also al allows me to slot those models into some units. Uh, uh, sorry, slot the models into my army when I've only got a few points left rather than just having to throw random enhancements and things in there. Uh, so that is my Tyranids. So project one. Um, project number two. Uh, is a second Terrorgeist. Uh, my first one I did in a kind of near black, kind of grey colour. So I wanted to do something a bit different with this one and that, during the process of painting up I toyed with the idea of going brown as a kind of main tone for his kind of skin and, and uh, intact flesh and wing membranes. But for some reason I decided to go for white or near white and I paint him up like a bit of an albino and that caused me no end of stress at certain points during the process uh, because as lots of people will tell you painting white is not always easy um, but actually I'm quite happy with how it's turned out in the end and importantly it's one big model that was sat on my shelf um, which is now painted which is great to get that done and add him to currently my soul blights but additionally, he will be playable in a Flesh East Courts army, which is quite nice to get a bit of a two for one. And um, I can get use out of him in the meantime, whilst I am still um, waiting to uh, get into my Flesh to Courts, which I suspect will be a fourth edition army with, uh, with that on the horizon soon for Age of Sigmar. And the third and final project which I have managed to get done since my last hobby update is this uh, Realm Shaper engine for 
my Seraphon army, which is slowly starting to come together one unit at a time. Uh, and that's great because this adds exactly zero points to that army. Um, which so it's nice to get it done. Again, another big model. Um, and they can be quite useful in game, especially depending on which sub factions you are playing. Um, but um, yeah, so this was this is not the the standard one for Age of Sigma. This was actually one of the ones which was released, I think, in one of the Warcry box sets. Because um, at the time that I was trying to buy one, you couldn't actually get the uh, the normal Realm Shaper engine. So this was a purchase at the time. Uh, of necessity because I couldn't get the other one um, but obviously it took me weeks if not months to get around to painting it and now they're widely available again so uh, I have one which is slightly different to a lot of people's um, so that was quite nice um, lots of um, weathering with washes and lots of green tones through there and uh, realizing how much of a pain in the backside it was to try and pick out all these little branches in retrospect so Hopefully no one looks too closely, because I'm sure I have missed some. Uh, even looking now, I can see probably a few leaves and things that I have missed. But that is now done. Uh, so a bit of faction terrain uh, for my Seraphon. And even if I'm not using it for that, I can throw this on a board and use it as a bit of impassable terrain. Or uh, something which can be garrisoned uh, in my games of AOS with my other armies. Uh, so those are my main projects uh, which I've been working on. Um, I will hopefully be back with another hobby update fairly soon. I've got some games of Age of Sigma and 40k on the horizon very soon. So at the very least, I will hopefully be back to you with some um, play updates uh, for both my uh, uh, my Tyranids. I've got a league game tonight as of the day of recording this. And additionally, I've got games planned for my Soul Blight. So I will come back with an update, hopefully in the next week or two, to let you know how they both go. Uh, anyways, I hope everyone is enjoying their own hobby. And share um, share what you're doing down below. I'm always interested to know what other people are doing, especially if you've got channels. Um, quite keen to support other channels which are doing similar things to me. And... Um, yeah, just let me know about it and I will see you on the next one. Take care.